something really devastating happened in my life gave me the opportunity to have something great happen. 1981, my fiance, the girl I was gonna marry, left me for my training partner. I came home from the 80 Olympia and they're together. I'm like, oh my God. I was so hurt and so baffled that this girl could do this to me. I was shocked, I was startled. I'm like, oh my God. The hurt, the pain, the terrible trauma. I wanted to go over and just kill the guy. I thought I was gonna put a dumbbell through his head, you know? But I decided to take all that energy and put it into the gym. I just opened the door to the Gold's Gym that year and boom, everything would work. It was a magical year. Any exercise I did was, wow, mind-blowing. All the hurt went into my training. I would train like every day. Every day looked better and better. I was always wondering if I should keep going. And the answer was always, I have to, I have to. As I promised myself. You wanna be strong? Learn how to be alone. Problems, depression, self-doubt, it was really a gift. It's hard to understand it at that time, but I always find years later, anything negative that happened to me turned out to be an opportunity in disguise. I look at life that way. The, all winners have lost. All winners have got depressed. All winners have been heartbroken. All winners have been disappointed and confused and frustrated and angry. But they kept moving forward. That's the only reason they're winners. Don't give up on your dreams. I feel great. My attitude, the way I walk to the gym in the morning, the way I get in the car, I have an inner confidence that I've never really totally understood. Bodybuilding gave me a life. It was the best thing that ever happened to me.
somebody dies, something happens to you, you lose money, you get physically injured, whatever, you get divorced. But you know something? We're supposed to feel that. We're supposed to go through those things to have the opposite. You gotta have sadness to have happiness. But it gave me a, an opportunity. Opportunity is disguised as problems. There are many times where I looked at myself and said, do I really have what it takes? And the answer was like, I gotta get up. I gotta keep moving forward no matter what. I'm scared to death of leaving the gym knowing I'm a loser, not really giving it everything I got. I can't do that. I'd rather die. I think a lot of modern day athletes don't have the work ethic and the desire. In my day, it was either become a priest or a bodybuilder. That kind of life devotion. I would give my entire life, God, to this exercise and this whatever it is I chose to do in life. And I did. There's no holding back, there's no playing around. There's no just doing it for Facebook or Instagram. Training to me was life and death. We put limitations on ourselves as humans. We think that 10 or 15 is enough. There's more in you. There's always more in you. There's always five more reps. And I think with that kind of mentality, you can get through anything.